Something unusual was captured in the skies of Mars. An image taken by NASA's Perseverance rover quickly became the most shared photo of the week. A faint streak of light, almost imperceptible, appears cutting across the darkness of the Martian sky. At first glance, it looked like nothing more than a photographic artifact. But then came the theories. Some claimed it was 3 I Atlas. Others insisted it had to be Phobos, one of Mars's two moons. But for those who looked deeper, the explanation became less and less clear. As Earth-based telescopes were gradually shut down and official data streams fell silent, the image from Mars stood alone, one mysterious trace floating above the red planet. And the question grew louder. What exactly did NASA capture on Mars? It began as a glimmer, a fragment of brightness suspended in the darkness above Mars, just one frame among thousands, captured not by a telescope, but by a rover, a simple engineering camera meant to guide a machine across red rocks, not to scan the Martian sky for mysteries. The image spread fast. At first, it was just a streak, a blur, but then came the enhancement, a zoom, a green hue added, exaggerated, and suddenly, it wasn't just a glitch in a Martian sky, it was something else, something more. The internet christened it quickly, 3i Atlas, the interstellar object making its way through the solar system, now supposedly photographed from the surface of another planet. A bold claim, fueled by speculation and amplified by algorithm. But claims are easy, evidence is not. Skepticism began to take root among those willing to look beyond the headlines. Rather than rely on amplified images circulating online, some turned to the original data. The raw files were available, straight from NASA's public archives. The camera used was identified, exposure times measured, timestamps verified, orbital ephemerides were run to reconstruct the sky above Jezero Crater at the exact moment the photo was taken. Layer by layer, the possibilities were eliminated. It wasn't 3i Atlas, the brightness, the motion, the pixel span, it didn't match. It wasn't Phobos either, Mars' lumpy rushing moon. Phobos would have moved differently across the frame, slower, dimmer, leaving a far shorter trail under the same exposure conditions. Demos, the second moon, was below the horizon. That was ruled out too. So what exactly was captured? A green streak, 53 pixels long, recorded by a navigation camera with an exposure window of just over three seconds. The object moved too far, too fast, far more than any known body visible from that location on that day. And crucially, there were no stars in the image, no background, just void. The kind of void that makes orientation impossible without deeper metadata. Metadata locked in NASA's engineering logs, currently out of reach due to a congressional shutdown. But that absence of stars, of context, was the clue itself because the cameras aboard the Perseverance rover are not made for this. They're not meant to look up, let alone hunt interstellar bodies. They're designed for dust, terrain, navigation. Their sensors aren't like those of the James Webb or even Hubble. They're not built to measure movement across a distant sky. Yet somehow, they caught something. This leads to possibilities that are less satisfying, but more grounded. Cosmic rays, for instance, particles moving near the speed of light, striking the sensor and generating false light trails. It happens, often, or perhaps a speck of Martian dust dislodged during one of the rover's maneuvers floated into the field of view. There's also the chance it was a digital artifact, compression errors, corrupted pixels in transmission. But even those explanations didn't quite fit because the streak had an angle, a consistent width, a measurable length. And more importantly, it appeared in multiple frames, recorded simultaneously by different lenses. It wasn't a glitch. And for now, it isn't identified, which makes it, by the strictest definition, an unidentified flying object, an object in motion across the Martian sky, visible but unknown. No propulsion, no blinking lights, no storybook saucers, just a presence, silent, drifting, a line drawn across a red canvas, and maybe that's why it unsettles us. Not because it confirms something, but because it doesn't. Because even with all our instruments, our rovers, our code, we still don't know what we're looking at. 
We are watching, calculating, guessing, but we're not in control. Not up there. Not yet. The theory was compelling. An interstellar visitor, 3i Atlas, caught on camera from the surface of another planet. If true, it would mark the first time an object from outside our solar system was directly photographed from beyond Earth. The timing even lined up. On October 3rd, 3i Atlas made its closest approach to Mars. The rover Perseverance, stationed in Jezero Crater, was scheduled to aim its cameras toward the sky. It all fit, too perfectly, but space doesn't care about our narratives. The cameras aboard Perseverance are not designed for astronomy. They're engineering tools, meant for terrain mapping and navigation. Their resolution, field of view, and exposure capabilities are limited. Crucially, they lack the sensitivity to capture faint interstellar objects from millions of kilometers away. Still, the claim persisted. A green-tinted streak in the sky stretched across a low-resolution frame. Advocates pointed to the timing, the angle, the shape. But when calculations began, the story started to unravel. Exposure time was the first clue. The navigation camera responsible for the image can expose for up to 3.28 seconds. At the speeds 3i Atlas was traveling, its motion would have translated to just a fraction of a pixel in that time frame, less than a sliver. But the object in the image covered more than 50 pixels. That discrepancy alone dismantles the 3i Atlas hypothesis. Then came the orbital mechanics. Simulations were run using NASA's ephemerides, mathematical models that track the positions of celestial bodies. These simulations recreated the sky over Jezero Crater at the moment the image was taken. They showed 3i Atlas, high, overhead, far from the angle at which the mysterious object appeared. Not only was the motion wrong, the position was too. So if it wasn't 3i Atlas, could it have been Phobos, the larger and faster of Mars's two moons? Again, the math didn't work. Phobos moves quickly, yes, but not at the rate suggested by the image. Its path across the sky would have left a shorter trail with less intensity. And Deimos, the smaller moon, wasn't even above the horizon at the time. None of the known objects matched. That leaves the uncomfortable category of unidentified. At this point, it's worth asking, how does something like this escape NASA's own review? The answer lies in timing. When the image surfaced, NASA was deep into a congressional shutdown. Resources were stretched thin. Many analysts were furloughed. Internal reviews slowed to a crawl. That left the broader scientific community and curious observers to pick up the slack. And this is where you come in. Our work here at the Cosmic Unknown is entirely independent. We don't have funding from institutions. We don't have corporate sponsors. What we do have is you. If you find value in this kind of deep investigation, if you believe in questioning headlines and exploring the unexplained, consider becoming a member. Your support helps us dig deeper, source original data, and bring stories like this to light without compromise. You'll find the join button below this video. Back to the anomaly. Once you rule out the known, you're left with two options, the extraordinary or the overlooked. Some have suggested a cosmic ray, a high energy particle striking the camera sensor and leaving a trail of false light. Others point to dust or debris, a flaw in the lens a digital glitch. These explanations are all plausible, but they also tend to leave artifacts of a different kind. Irregular patterns, single frame distortions, inconsistent trajectories. This object, however, was captured in multiple images. It had shape, direction, consistency. It behaved like something real, yet no known celestial body fits the description. No satellite, no moon, no star. The sky above Jezero Crater was empty in that direction, at that time. That doesn't mean it's alien, but it does mean it's unknown, and in a field built on discovery, that's enough to ask more questions. Objects in space obey rules. Light curves, orbits arc, speeds fluctuate within the boundaries of gravity and momentum. Even the most chaotic phenomena, like comets breaking apart, or solar flares erupting from a star's surface, move in ways that are predictable when viewed through the right lens. This makes the unknown objects spotted by the Perseverance rover 
especially unsettling. It doesn't move like anything we know. Let's revisit what the raw data reveals. The object appears as a sharp streak across multiple frames. It isn't blurred randomly, as you might expect from camera shake or sensor noise. Instead, it presents a directional path with consistent shape and brightness. Measuring its length across frames, researchers determine the trail spans over 50 pixels, an unusually long signature given the capabilities of the navigation camera. This isn't noise, it's motion. But how fast was it moving? To answer that, analysts estimated exposure time, angular resolution, and frame spacing. The maximum exposure for the navcam is just over three seconds. Using this, they calculated the angular movement per second, converting that into a sky trajectory. The result? A speed that doesn't match any known object visible from Mars at the time. It was too fast for a satellite and too slow for a meteor. It occupied a strange middle ground. This alone wouldn't be unprecedented. There are thousands of small, untracked objects drifting through the solar system. Some are fragments of asteroids, others are human-made debris. But what makes this case exceptional is the combination of timing, visibility, and the absence of other corroborating signals. No other sensor registered the event. The rover's other instruments showed nothing. No unusual readings, no energy spikes, no lens artifacts in adjacent frames. The skies remained quiet. And yet, there it was, something crossing the frame with clear direction and velocity caught in the stillness of Martian night. To many, this might sound like a call for caution, for restraint, perhaps even dismissal. After all, space is messy, cameras malfunction, dust swirls, light bends. But those who investigate such anomalies understand that pattern matters. And this object, whatever it was, created a pattern that doesn't match background noise. Some have pointed to the possibility of cosmic rays, high energy particles from beyond our solar system. When they strike a sensor, they can leave bright spots or trails, but cosmic ray artifacts are typically isolated to a single frame and exhibit irregular intensity. They don't move, they don't appear twice, they don't trace a linear path across multiple exposures. This object did. Others suggest a glitch in the data processing pipeline perhaps compression errors or readout faults. But again, these usually leave telltale signs, blocky distortions, repeated patterns, abrupt cuts in image data. None of that is present here. And then there's the silence. Following the brief wave of speculation online, the conversation tapered off. NASA made no official statement. No clarification was issued. Inquiries from independent analysts went unanswered. It is possible that the agency reviewed the case internally and found it unremarkable. It is also possible that it was filed away quietly to avoid unnecessary attention. Silence is not uncommon in cases where certainty is out of reach, but in that silence, the object remains, not explained, not dismissed, not followed up. There is something uniquely eerie about an anomaly spotted on another world, captured by a machine that never sleeps. In a crater, carved by ancient impact. On a planet where no human has set foot, an object passed overhead and left a trace no one can explain. For now, that trace is all we have. It is a reminder of how much remains unseen. In the search for certainty, we often overlook the value of the unexplained. But here, on the edge of Mars desolation, a line of light across the sky poses a question we can't yet answer. And maybe, just maybe, that's the beginning of something. Mars doesn't speak. It doesn't explain. It offers data, raw, silent, untouched. It's up to us to ask the questions, to chase the meaning. And this time, the question was sharper than usual. A green streak across the sky, recorded by a machine not meant for stargazing. A brief anomaly that resisted classification, even as experts and amateurs alike parsed its pixels. It wasn't 3 eye Atlas. The trajectory, brightness, and angular speed didn't align. It wasn't Phobos either, nor Demos. It didn't match any known satellite or atmospheric event. The usual suspects, cosmic rays, dust, compression glitches, didn't quite fit either. The object moved, left a trace, and appeared in multiple frames. And then, like so many things in space, it was gone. In a field driven by certainty and skepticism, that's uncomfortable. 
We want resolution. We want answers. But science isn't always about answers. Sometimes, it's about ruling things out, about sitting with what remains, when all the likely explanations have been eliminated. This mystery, this sliver of the unknown above Jezero Crater, is a reminder of how little we truly control. We can simulate orbital mechanics, measure time to the millisecond, reconstruct star fields, and write code to parse terabytes of data. But when the universe offers something unexpected, something that doesn't fit, it humbles us. And perhaps that's the point. This isn't just about an unidentified streak in a Martian sky. It's about our relationship to the unknown, our need to categorize, to explain, to label. But the cosmos doesn't owe us clarity. It only offers opportunity, the opportunity to look deeper, to refine our tools, to remain curious. Maybe this was a cosmic ray, caught at just the right moment. Maybe it was a sliver of ice, a camera fluke, a piece of dust suspended in Martian air. Or maybe it was something else, something we're not yet equipped to understand. Whatever it was, it reminds us that discovery doesn't always arrive with fireworks or headlines. Sometimes it arrives quietly, in a grainy image, in a trail of light, in a question that refuses to be answered. If the unknown fascinates you as much as it does us, consider subscribing. Leave a like to help more curious minds find this story. And maybe, just maybe, ask better questions the next time the stars go silent.